Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. You remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. Except there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosa. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Don't you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Uh -huh. That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right, listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuckled at the going vegan. Scott, Billy? Ah, you killed me. Hell no. I refuse to believe. What are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. Friend by the Pompidou set. I've just sold them those pieces we uh, yeah, obtained last year. You know, those hanging bull thing. I don't know abstract art shit. Anyway, we walk out past that giant ice bag. What is that thing, anyway, right? And we see this crepe vendor outside with his car. So I go over there. And I wonder how I can help you. Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. So of course they play douchey European techno. 
Scusi. Some pointers? No, just warming up, that's okay. all. Okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab. Professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feels so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross, 
Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run-in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. This escape wasn't on the blueprint. 